אחד פורים, חג גדול ליהודים, מסכות רעשנים, שיר וריקודים. Uh, I have been busy making my kids costumes for our holiday that's coming up this week. And the holiday is Purim. So it is a holiday that you see like everybody in the country gets super excited. And it's lots of costumes and lots of uh, treats and gifts are given to your neighbors and to all. all your friends if you want or really just you're supposed to give to one person of a male a man gives to a man and a woman gives to a woman but pouring everybody it's the time that everybody wants to show their skills of cooking or making nice uh, wrapped presents and we give them out on that day it's also a day that uh, a lot of drunk people are Uh, around or at a table we have a big meal and it's so fun and lots of people uh, enjoy this holiday and this holiday is celebrated all over the country and you can kind of tell when it comes because you start seeing things that say um, Purim Sameach it happens in the month of Adar which falls out in the month at the end of February or the beginning of March And you start seeing things. One thing about in Israel, you can tell when a holiday is coming. Uh, and you can prepare for it. Uh, whether you are Jewish or not Jewish or whatever you are in the country, you can prepare for that holiday. Because Israel really, really uh, goes all out for the holidays. As if you were in America and American holidays or Christian holidays in America you can see like people start seller uh, stores start putting out like in November for Christmas before Thanksgiving and here it's the same thing for the holiday uh, for pouring like you start seeing things coming out uh, the beginning of February which is before the month of it kind of falls out before the month of uh, pouring of the Jewish holiday um, in a Jewish month but besides that, I make my kids costumes and I started making my kids costumes maybe last year I really got into making their costumes last year my daughter was a butterfly and my son for I don't know since he started like really wearing a costume and recognizing that he's wearing a costume he's always been a police officer a police officer or a soldier and that has been his costume until this year Or sometimes there'll be a clown. I think last year he wore a clown costume to school. Um, but this year I made him a costume. And his costume is Moshe Rabbeinu, uh, which is Moses. Um, and he has a stick, uh, a cane, for when Moses goes in front of uh, Paro um, and uh, changes the sticks into more than uh, into more than one snake and it eats it well anyway so that's his costume and I'm so proud of it and he looks so good at, in it and my daughter this year is a cheetah so I had to really bring out some makeup skills because I could not find costume makeup to make her costume properly um, I did but it wasn't like dark color it wasn't very vivid And so I learned like with uh, powdered makeup, if you use like your setting spray and it'll make it into a cream, which is good because then it'll stay on all day and or a cream like um, a moisturizer uh, you can use and it makes it into a cream. So I did her makeup also. And this is like, so I did a practice run last week because they knew it was like lots of details to make the cheetah face. And then um, I did, so the more I did it, the more I realized what was taking me the longest to do. So today, this morning, I wake up at six. I tell my daughter, hurry, get on your costume, uh, put on your costume and do your hair. And then we'll work on the makeup. So the one thing that took me forever is to make the spots. So, and not to color in the spots, just to make the spots and to make the mouth, uh, the whiskers for the mouth. I knew that would take me a while. So those are the things that like I worked on like really uh, fast and I did that first before I did everything else. So I'm really happy about that. 
Um, what else? Uh, my daughter's old enough, I mentioned before, to go to the store. So she went and she bought like all the treats and things that they needed to make uh, a uh, present, which is really called a uh, Mishloach Manot. Um, so they each had to make one and they take it to school and they exchange it with another child. Uh, kind of like you pull a name and then you give the gift or whatever. Um, but... You know, you want to give something really nice and, you know, you package it nicely and my kids took it to school today. I don't have one to show you. What can I do? And also in Israel, um, the holiday, it seems because I live in Jerusalem, it comes out for me uh, on Thursday night to Friday night, which means that I go into Shabbat. Uh, from Purim. So I was trying to think like what I was going to make and then my friends who live outside of Jerusalem celebrate Purim Wednesday night to Thursday night. So last year I went to them and I had to fly back to not fly back I had to ride the bus like really fast Maher which means fast um, to get to uh, Jerusalem so that I could celebrate Purim. If you live in Jerusalem, you celebrate uh, Purim on a different day than the rest of the country. Um, what else? So that's what I've been like really busy doing is working on the costumes, uh, making it exact. I made my son a beard, which he didn't, he didn't wear. I bought him a wig. He didn't want to wear the wig. You know, boys are really funny. They don't do those kind of things. So right now, also we give out hamantashen, which are these uh, triangle cookies, which I actually do not like. Um, but yeah, that's what we do. And uh, we give out... Uh, what's another thing that we do? The the hamantashen is something like it's a really big thing. You see it like everywhere. Um, my husband is always the joker. Here, this is here's his hat. He wears this every year um, for pouring, and then that's it. He'll wear the hat. And last year I also wore one. We have two. So usually it's my husband and my son. But again, like I said, my son now recognizes pouring and costumes so he has been a soldier or a police officer for a few years now so I'll at the table my husband and I will wear the the joker hat or something and we invite friends this year I'm not inviting them I'm actually looking out my window as I'm uh chatting the weather has been not so great I'm sorry I'm switching back and forth on my phone uh what else can I talk about? After Purim, we have a holiday called Pesach, Passover. And then it gets crazy. Everybody cleans and your house has to look sparkling clean. So right the day after Purim, everybody is working on Passover, which is exactly a month later. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to record then. Because I hope that I do, but uh, I'm not sure. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention briefly was um, one of my vloggers that I enjoy her vlog, but I'm really sad because she's leaving the country that she, she vlogs in and she's going back to the States. And one of the problems that I have about her vlog is like, I don't know, like the past few months, she's really been throwing a lot of shade uh, about the country that she's in. And she, you know, she has a boyfriend who's from that country, but because she in that country is really big about their culture. And to me, it seems like she doesn't like the culture of that country. That's my opinion. So I cannot imagine that the relationship she has with her boyfriend will continue uh, or progress further because she hates his culture. I mean, she seems to. She throws a lot of shade at it um, or doesn't understand it. That's what I think. I think she doesn't understand it. And I, I mentioned this because in Israel, again, I mentioned about culture and, and being part of the culture. And in Israel, it's all about family and together and holidays and even people who aren't religious. Um, they love Israel. They love the culture of 
um, sitting together with friends outside. Uh, Israelis can be loud and abrupt and they expect you not to uh, be fragile. Um, they have no patience for fragile people. Um, so they come across a little bit uh, abrupt, a little bit uh, sharp and um, strong uh, with you. And it, it isn't intentional. It's just their way. It's just how they are. And I've accepted that. And I find myself that way a lot of times um, when I want to uh, make my point known or I want something and uh, I know someone, she's, uh, God willing, marrying someone who is Israeli. And she noticed that there is a difference. Like, I think that I know Israel so well in the culture. But unless you really are really, really hanging out with Israelis and being part of... Uh, of the things that they do, they like to travel a lot. They go camping, they go boating, they barbecue, they go visit other countries. Um, but mainly they're like together um, a lot in doing things outside, outside. They're they're rarely in the house, outside. Um, and, and I love it. And I realized even after the time that I've been here, I realized like I really don't know it as much as I want or think that I could say that I'm an expert at it. So the person that's leaving the country that they're in have only been in that country for two years. I can't imagine anybody thinking they know a lot about a country in two years, let alone the culture. Um, anyway, so I'm really, really sad about that person going back. Uh, to America, and I'm not sure if they go back to America, will they be satisfied? I mean, America is a mess right about now, so I can't imagine that they're going to stay. Um, and maybe going back to America will make them appreciate that they are in their country, in the country that they were residing in. Um, I'm actually going to ask some of the bloggers that I do like and enjoy if I can send them a shout out on my channel. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. If you have any questions, ask in the description box. Um, maybe one day I'll do uh, Draw My Life. What is it? Yeah, Draw My Life. I can't do Draw My Life. I'll tell my life story <laughs> up until where I am now. One day. I'm not sure when that'll be. Because right now I am busy, busy, busy with the holidays. And I want to thank you so much for watching my channel. May you continue to watch it. Please ask in the description box if you have any questions. Uh, other than about uh, religious life. And I know you have those questions, but if you just look through my other videos and you'll see that I do discuss a few things, but my channel was not to help someone to be Jewish. My channel was not to uh, tell you all about Judaism because I am not an expert and it is so much to know. All I am here to do is share my life and the things that happen to me on a daily basis as I live in Israel. So thanks again for watching my channel and please continue.